another episode of Beauty and the Bleach. Dun, dun. Today, what we're going to be doing is kitchen sinks. Now, the reason for this and why I wanted to bring you guys this vlog is your kitchen sink, here's a fun fact for you, harbours more germs and bacteria than your toilet. Now, the reason for this is People poo and wee in their toilet, obviously that goes without saying, you're not going to like pull up home on a kitchen sink and take a poo in there unless you're some sort of like, I don't know, feral animal. So, with this in mind, because obviously your toilet is essentially, to most people, the dirtiest place in your house, that is why people go to great lengths to get it clean, because you know that it's dirty, whereas the kitchen sink People just assume, oh well, you know, I wash up in it and there's a bit of bubbles in there. The bubbles will get rid of all the germs and bacteria. It doesn't. I promise you, it does not. The bubbles do not get rid of anything other than your soul. Because honestly, like, you will end up with salmonella or E. coli. That's why you need to bleach your kitchen sink. And I'm going to show you, because you're my favourite people, how to do it now. Okay, so as I stand here now, like Joseph in his Technicolor dream coat, what you're going to need is these, a pair of gloves. You're also going to need one of these. This is a sponge. You're also going to need our trusted friend, Bleach, and some dishwasher rinse aid. You can get this in most stores. And also, you're going to need some kitchen roll. And the final thing, this is optional, is orange oil but we'll get to all the different stuff that we're going to be using later the first thing we're going to start with is the bleach okay so once you've poured the bleach into your sink you're going to be doing it obviously neat the bleach will be just rub it all in and around the sink and what this will do is we'll be getting rid of all the germs and bacteria Okay, now once you've rubbed that all in and you're happy that you've rubbed it into the sink and you've got every little nook and cranny, what you can then do is don't rinse it out just yet because you're going to fill the sink up with the remainder of the bleach and you're going to put your dish rack in the bleach water. So do that now. Okay, so in your bleach water, what you're going to do is just soak your dish rack in there. I know that from previous experience and encounters of different people, a lot of people will tell me like, oh, I don't bother cleaning it, it's fine. Like, the clean plates are going in it and you'll be surprised once these things are swabbed, how much bacteria they have lying on them. So it's always important to make sure that just like you would wash up your plates, you need to wash up your dish drainer. Now, and while that's soaking, what you can do is just put some more neat bleach onto your draining board and just give that a rub in. And that will sterilise your draining board as well. Okay, once you've done that, you can go ahead and put your dish strainer back. And then just turn the hot water tap on. And then you can just rinse off the excess bleach. Okay, now, once you've bleached all of your sink and your drainer, what you're going to then do is get your dishwasher rinse aid and just squirt it all around the sink. Now, what this ends up doing is actually it makes your sink really shiny and it does make it smell like lemon. Um, a lot of people will use different various methods to do their sink. Um, 
So like white vinegar, for example, it is a really useful thing to clean with. However, it does not kill every single type of bacteria and germs. So it will kill things, certain things, but it won't kill like if there's E. coli or salmonella within your sink vinegar won't do the job there it won't get rid of it you need to use either an antibacterial spray or bleach okay so once you've put the dishwasher rinse aid on your sink you just then need to rinse that off And once that's all been rinsed off, the last thing that I'll do now is I'll take my soap and it's just hand soap and I just rub it into my gloves like I'm washing my hands. This just for me sterilises my rubber gloves as well at the same time. And then once you've done that, take some kitchen towel. I do use microfiber cloths around my house but when it comes to my kitchen and my sink I don't like to put them on it because even though I wash them in a 90 degree wash I just feel like how do I know that there isn't any bacteria left on it and then I just think am I coating my sink in bacteria so I will actually normally leave my sink to just air dry um, but for the purposes of this I know a lot of people like to get rid of all the excess moisture in their sink so my advice for that is the kitchen roll and then you can shine it off with that and it can just go in the bin afterwards kitchen that harbour the most amount of bacteria and germs are your kitchen sink, your kitchen dish strainer and also your sponges. So the reason they harbour bacteria and germs is because they're moist. So a good way to keep these sterile is I put a splash of orange oil on the sponge. I mean a splash is just an estimate. It's probably more like a gallon but who's counting? because I just like the smell of it. And then what you do is nuke it in your microwave for 30 seconds. Okay, so now your sponge is sterile again. That's good to use for at least another week. I don't actually tend to keep my sponges for as long as that because I just am really conscious of the fact that they do harbour germs and bacteria, but that is because I just am super panicky about things. So that's good to keep for at least another week, but you should 100% replace your sponges or your cloths that you use in the kitchen at least once a week. Don't keep them any longer. Thanks so much for watching my vlog. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and I'll be back again soon with my new fancy schmancy filming equipment so I can bring you some nice glossy vlogs and they won't be so like muffled and stuff anymore. They'll be nice and profesh. Thanks for watching. Bye.